Welcome back everyone to episode 37 of Let's Play Rule the Waves. I can't believe it's episode, well, I can't believe it's episode 37 because it's actually episode 36, sorry, but I can't believe we're going to war with Great Britain. We had that huge battle. I, after that battle happened, I, I literally, I walked around, I was, I had to do other things, but I was only thinking about how that battle went. Like, could I have done it better if I, did I realize the Arizona was coming in from a different side? Anyway, it's a too late to do anything about it now, but I mean, it was still a really successful battle. We shouldn't be so disappointed by it, but I have very high standards for my own my, my combat abilities and uh, that, I, f I can't help but feel that we we didn't leave that battle uh, done in the optimal manner. So anyways, it's still good. We still sunk a bunch of their ships and we still do have two dreadnoughts left because the Arizona survived in good condition, and we have the Kentucky, which is still kind of working up on the East Coast. So uh, we'll leave her there for one more turn. So what's going to happen is uh, I, I mean, I'm I, ooh, advanced director now. Okay, we sunk in the ship. Three, four, six, nine, eleven. Enemy coastal raid with stuff. We'll accept. They decline. That's fine. We intercepted a British Raider. We'll fight it, but uh, this is my Olympia class because it's Northeast Asia, so I'm not like supremely confident in our ability. <laughs> Still, we'll just give it a the old college try and see what happens. Okay, good. Unknown ship sighted, pretty far away. We'll go maximum speed, which is only 24 on these guys, and the wind is to our left, so let's just get uh, as far to the left as fast as possible. And begin moving over. Let's go ahead, two minutes. What? So this might be, what, a heavy cruiser? Okay, this, nervously I'm going to, okay, wow. So we just grotesquely misidentified it. 27 knots, eight six inch guns, Four submerged computer tubes and mines. Two and a half, one and a half, two and a half, four. One, two, three, four, five. We can bring five guns to bear. They can bring one, two, three, four, five as well, it appears. Well, these are Olympia classes. What am I worried about? Let's let's do it. I absolutely have no no problems whatsoever, none whatsoever, uh, engaging against uh, a much more modern light cruiser. The problem is that we're gonna have to kind of close and then hope that something happens because if we if we don't. If we only do light damage to them and they run away, they'll be able to run away from us. Oh wow, well, that's a really good start. What do we have? We have, we only have central firing here. Almost assuredly, they they have something better than that. But well, I mean, a hit, a first hit is a nice way to start off the battle. Okay, how long do we have to wait before we do change of course, torpedo oriented change of course? Another hit, and they just changed direction. Okay, so that might be our cue to just tilt a little bit. To avoid torpedoes. Okay, they hit the turret. That's the best thing for them to hit. Oh, nope, our turret's just the same as our belt, so it's not the best thing. Okay, we hit them again. <laughs> I'm sure that they don't have medium damage on them, and we they did actually take a little bit of damage from that hit. See, this is the problem, is if they decide that they want to run away, we have no method of pursuing, because their um, speed is just much higher than us. Let's just assume that they want to come back. Okay, or... Huh. Alright, well, let's run for... Okay. What? In God's name, are they doing? We're not even pursuing them. Okay, wh where is their close port of call? Uh, 
Uh, somewhere over here, I think. Yeah. In order to get there, they would just run straight west. A little bit almost north of west. So we're doing the right thing. Okay, looks like they're going to come into range again. I am using the two key to run two minutes at a time instead of, okay, this is the one key to run one minute at a time. We have the wind with us. Uh, just not close enough. There it is. We're just not close enough. Okay, now we're firing. Only three, though, so let's turn a little bit more. Get a little more than just three turrets working on them. Nope, we're not going to be able to do that. How much is glare affecting us, anyway? Oh, well, we just turned, so it's complaining a lot. It says glare, but I don't see glare in the details, so... Alright, well, let's keep going. They're definitely faster than us, you can just see them leaving the circle. Whatever, let's keep going. Okay, it's going to become harder for us to see them. That's fine. That means that they're going to probably turn west. We're assuming this before it gets dark. It'll get dark soon, too. Okay, well, <laughs> just have to stick with what we've got. If we happen to run into them, then so be it. I don't think we will, though. Oh, just kidding. Huh. Okay, they're like likely launching torpedoes. That's some good damage. Okay, if these are actually hits, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Warning torpedoes, yeah, that's that's a, <laughs> definitely a problem. Well, how did they get on the left side of us, though? What compelled them to swing around and head north? Let's just assume that they do the same thing. So maybe let's make a, a break for this. Maybe they do have enough pathfinding to realize they have to go around. In which case, we'll just head this way and see if anything happens. I doubt it. Okay, well, uh, that was a fun battle, right? <laughs> Maybe we win. Yeah, marginal victory. We both did light damage to each other. I did more light damage to them. Let's take a look at that ship much uh, up close. Hmm, they do have two light turrets as well, two three-inch guns. Okay. Okay, very good. Another minor victory, but insignificant so we win 50 victory points out of you know thousand ten thousand that we're ahead <laughs> it's insignificant all right i want to check and see who we have rating who we should put on active fleet caribbean and this guy needs to head to the caribbean okay you're in the caribbean so you're fine and you're on now on active fleet so you're fine but we should have other light cruisers that we can actually set to raiding. So we can actually set East Coast Raiders to raid as well. Let's set two of these to raid. Um, we still have two on the East Coast that are fine. And I'm actually just going to make that, I think, one on the East Coast. Because we want to move another Baltimore to the Caribbean. 
Okay. Let's see how we're doing now. All right, so this Dreadnought is worked up enough that I'm just gonna move it to the Caribbean now. Uh, whoops. Not close, but actually move. Shoot, I grabbed the one Caribbean. There we go. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, there, that's... Now, none of these guys are in the Caribbean. No, one is, and he needs to move to the West Coast. And one of the ones in the West Coast should move to Southeast Asia. Just so we can try to influence and invade colonies there. Okay, let's again check. All our raiders are fine. And the active fleet people that we have who have stars are um, being fixed. Uh, the situation's fixed. Okay, next turn. Northern Mariana's one victory point. Well, one victory point I am willing to concede. Huh. And this is what I was hoping. So we've invaded Bermuda. Okay, I don't really care. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eleven. Huh. If we can put pressure on them and by raiding their, sh their shipping, I'll take it. But eventually, come on. I mean, ultimately, we know how this has to go. We have to go back in and try to clean up the remainder of their dreadnoughts. This is nice as it is right now. Would they have a dreadnought in the Caribbean? I wish we would engage that one. <clears throat> okay, let's see. They've moved out of Northeast Asia. They only have two light cruisers here. Where the heck are their forces? Wow, they have a whole huge task force in the Indian Ocean. And they have another huge task force in the West Africa. I mean, that does... Obviously, I should be raiding in all the different places, but I'm just a little bit lazy. And with the victory points where we are at, there's no real need for us to go to other places. Like, North, I'm in Northern Europe raiding. It's unnecessary. I'll keep it for the time being, but... Let's uh, piss everyone off, get better budget. Okay, two, three, and a coastal raid. Whoa. Coastal raid. No, I think I'm going to decline. Yeah, it's not worth the victory points. <laughs> It's a bad situation if we lose that, if we lose our battleships, because we, we've currently invaded there already. That says that they don't have any ships there, so we probably could have accepted and they would have automatically declined. So, a minor mistake. <clears throat> Alright, just need to check to see if we have any stars. We have one, but it's not in a place which matters. And we do have a huge budget. Okay, that's the other thing we should probably do now is just whatever situation we're in, whatever ship we're going to build at this point, we might as well just build something because we're not going to get a chance to build anything more. Um, it, it's Time's running out. I was really trying to wait for the highest quality guns to come. We have quality one 16-inch guns. Why don't we just build a lighter battleship? Because I think... Having lost some of the, our current ones, why don't we design a new battleship? This will be the last one. We could design a battle cruiser. I just, I'm not super convinced though. Uh, let's see, if we auto design one, Lexington, good God. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> this isn't a battle cruiser, man. I guess it is because it goes 27 knots, but holy cow. 16 inch guns. I mean, if this is a battle, this is better than my. <laughs> I'm sure the cost of this thing is exorbitant, more than we could really possibly handle. So let's do something like this. What if we go down to 23, which is still fast, even 22? Lower the range a whole bunch. I mean, lower the displacement a whole bunch. Okay, that was too much. Let's keep it at 38,000 even. All or nothing armor, deck of four, let's say. Belt of 12, 
turrets of 13. Turret top of 4. We'll just keep everything at 4 for the tops. Secondaries of 5. Good torpedo defense. <clears throat> good range. Everything. Um, zero second. Yeah, that's good. Okay. One per. I, I don't know if this is necessary, but torpedoes are fast enough. It seems useful. Let's get uh, 20, maybe, secondary guns. Ah, fuck. It had that. I had to do it, right? Okay, that means we have to just remember these things. Let's uh, clear. We'll have to update it ourselves. So we know we want to get... 35, what was it, like 38, okay, uh, 22, ah, I won't let you do it, 22, thank you, Norman Oil, we'll go to 12, 4, 13, 12.5, we'll fix some of this stuff later, because we want to find where the min-max zones are. I think 5 is fine for the secondaries. All torpedo defense. Okay, this is good. Um, and now, what kind of guns do we want on this? We put 17 on our other ones, but I think we're just going to lower this to 16. I'm pretty happy with 16. We can fire a little bit faster that way, and we probably only need like 100 rounds per gun. Okay, so we're gonna do all the things. Forward, forward superimposed. Um, aft and aft superimposed. We're gonna do triple turrets. <clears throat> okay. So that's what she looks like right now. That's good, so we get 12 on a broadside and six on anything else, which is pretty good. Okay, we want a whole bunch of these. What, five per side? Five turrets per side. I like it. Looks good. Okay. We will add um, one. One port and starboard. Uh, let's put them in kind of in the front. Obviously, we can only do one per turret if they're submerged. Okay. It says that we're doing okay, but we're grossly overweight. Why is that? Should we just... What did I do differently this time? Probably the, okay, so you can see here the difference, 250 pounds extra, just because of the, does that change with it? No, ammo weight, does the ammo weight decrease? No, yeah, so that's independent of ammo weight. 200 extra, 250 extra weight per turret for the superimposed. Is there ever gonna be a time when this guy needs aft superimposed? Which, by the way, if you notice, aft superimposed is not as expensive as forward superimposed. I'm not sure why. But it does seem like for 120 more, aft superimposed is definitely worth it. Okay, so we'll leave it. We'll just leave it how it is. This will be the top of the line ship. Probably don't need too much ammo. We'll go down to 95. I think that that's the lowest I really want to go. Just because these things will hit. Actually, we'll go down to 90 even, because these things should be hitting almost immediately with advanced director firing. And um, increased elevation, all those things are good. Hmm, so where do we buy the extra? I think it would just go up to 40,000. I'm very comfortable with a ship being 40,000. What name do we want? I thought the Massachusetts, or Connecticut. I like the Nevada. It sounds like a, a pretty strong unit. We already lost the Nevada. But it was uh, it's in honor of its heroic actions that we are naming this one, I guess. The Whatever. So one... That should be enough. We're gonna do 85 rounds. That's <laughs> really pushing it, but do we really need all these secondary guns? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Because we don't, I mean, ships are just gonna get close. We wanna um, pummel them. The moment they get close, we wanna just pummel them. One thing we could do is take the deck arm. Okay, let's just look at the gun data. So this has a penetration of four inches at max range, basically. Um, well, not at max. I mean, anything above 20,000, which means that our, our guns will be able to support that. So I think, is that an area where we should possibly take down the weight a little bit? I mean, I do want to increase the conning tower. 13.5 is the best we can do. 
Okay, I'm not gonna be stubborn. I'm just gonna increase the weight a little bit so that we can get all the things that I want. Let's increase ammo back up to 90. Let's get better conning tower. Let's get better turret top. Okay, so I mean, let's just get all the things. And it looks like we can lower it a little bit to 40,800. And we'll close the remaining difference with 15.5. Uh, okay, very good. There she is, the Nevada class. Save. So we're going to go without a battlecruiser. That's not ideal, but I can't get... I mean, just look at the maintenance of this is 528. This behemoth, the Nevada, only 646. You can take, you can give me six of these, and I'll still beat it with just four of the Nevadas. And that is just a, I'm trying to show you how unfair this is in terms of maintenance cost. Hmm. Okay, but just let's just design it. Our last attempts at designing a battle cruiser. I, I don't want to give up on it, right? Okay, yes. Let's do a 27. Let's do six on. Let's do that. This is maybe doable. We went to 35,000. 10, 3.5. That's good. I like that, actually. I think that that's solid. We probably need more like 12. Turrets? What? Heck no. Okay, we can only go to 10.5. Whoa! <laughs> Interesting. I don't think this aft centerline one is worth having. We will get 8 versus 10, 8 versus 10, 8 versus 10. Maybe the aft superimposed isn't important to have. The important thing is we don't update the ship graphic because otherwise it's going to corrupt again. So whatever changes we make, we just save and I'll see if it, hopefully it just looks correct. Okay. Um, well, if we're going to do four for that, let's do... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, let's do four. Because flash explosions are not good. We've actually seen those are so important. I'll sacrifice almost anything for the ability not to have... Uh, to have a little better armor. So we can even just go up... Uh, 36,000 I guess. Can we get even one more out of this now? This ship's job is to stay at range. To stay at range it might need the rear firing stuff. Hmm. Okay this is 1620. 616. What if I just instead of that... Okay 16. We're at 185 we have available. Let's do this. Delete the aft and add another aft instead, which is a triple. We saved a lot there. So we why do we want that? Ah, I did that up group. Ugh. Dang it. Yeah, if I'm going to design a battle cruiser, it's not going to have the five turrets, which um, probably is a little faster firing. I'm just going to design it for uh, to be more efficient. So we're going to do it this way. Forward and aft are going to be triple turrets. And they're going to be the 16. That's fine. I'm happy with the 16. Now, forward superimposed and aft superimposed are going to be double turrets. Good. It's good so far. And they don't weigh that much. You can see. Why don't they weigh that much? This makes sense. Oh, right, because my displacement... No, because armor? Armor. Yes, as soon as I add armor to them, they're going to be a lot heavier. So let's put on 12 armor. Nice and expensive, and let's make it even heavier by adding, I guess, 3.5 to the top should be enough. We're going to try to keep this guy at range, actually, so let's do 4. So let's put his belt down to only, like, 10. Basically, we're trying not to get close. Let's try to fight people at range and then use our speed, which is way too low. Yeah, let's make this guy 28. Let's do that. Okay, so this is going to be a ranged fighter. He tries to keep people at range. 
So this guy is useless at like nighttime and stuff like that. All right, I'm happy with this. And we want a good conning tower. Maybe a 14 is fine. Secondary is a uh, turret 5, I guess. We want plenty in the turrets. So let's just put 8 per side. We just need enough to defend us against when torpedo boats and stuff make their runs. Now, I want to make this the... Uh, what was it? Constellation. Yeah, we definitely want to add torpedo defense, don't we? Okay, what if we only add two torpedo defense? I don't know if that's smart. Torpedoes are so, well... Shoot, that last torpedo defense actually adds a ton. Very expensive. We need more ammo anyway. Hmm, guess we'll have to go up to 36. Hey, that's so expensive. All right, we're gonna just leave it at torpedo of... No, no. Okay, let's do it. Let's just be a little bit more expensive with this guy. 3750. Take the conning tower up a little bit more. It's a 15 inch, so he won't get destroyed with his conning tower. Good. Okay, let's uh, check out what this is uh, all about. We'll overwrite. And the new constellation is 650,000 versus the new Nevada, which is 646. Although the cost is less, the maintenance is higher. But this is a ship that I would, wouldn't mind having. It feels like almost as good as the Nevada because it can keep a, a ship like the Nevada at range. You kind of need both, but we have the Montana. So I'm going to go ahead and build the Constellation. Okay, let's do it. There we go. The new ship class has been decided. <laughs> uh, a lot of work about nothing. The game is over. <laughs> so this is really good. I've been mentioning this, that the hard cutoff is 1950. Um, we can keep playing, and it says basically the game can degrade. But we'll play on, because let's finish this war. Okay, we sank two ships, and we lost one. That's fine. Two British submarines were sunk. Okay, two, five versus one. Battle should be... Wow. All right. Well, accept. Okay, here we go. Um, battleship engagement number two. We're very close to our own ports. Let's definitely try to use... I mean, I'm going to save this game because we're, we're going to, you know... Uh, we have to... There's some mines over there. It's uh, The video's gone to the maximum length I really want it to. So let's save and do this in the next one, but... Can two of our battleships defeat five of theirs? Supposedly five of theirs? I, I, I highly doubt it. But we're going to give it the old college try. I know I've already said that this turn, this uh, episode, but truly that's what we're going to do, though. We're, we're really... I'm okay with support, line ahead. We're going to try it. Pull away um, and protect... Yeah. Anyways, um, I'll, I'll pick this up in the next episode, and we will try to maybe run some of their ships into some mines. So I think the best option for us is going to be... Okay, there's two minefields over here. There's one over here. There's one here. Nothing right around Christianstead. The, close, the best one for us is probably to use this and maybe swing around down to these two. So I think we'll just make a, a hard run to the east. Now, it's going to be important to try to stay on the southern side. <clears throat> so probably the best thing to do is to retreat southeast. Let them get caught on this corner so that we are definitely south of them. And then drag them up this way into this minefield. And if, if we get really lucky, we'll be able to sink some of their ships with the, the help of our defensive positions. The only other thing I would recommend... Or the only other thing I would consider doing is going southwest directly and heading towards these two. But likely the engagement's gonna happen before we really get a chance to get out of the way. So um, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll just pull this up real fast. Let's look at the Great Britain ships. If they are 22 knots, they're gonna be faster than we can deal with. 
we won't be able to escape them. So we're dealing with 14 inch guns on that, 14 inch guns on that, and 15 inch guns on that. So we do we do have better guns than them. And I don't think they're battle cruisers here, but that's the only one we would have to fear. How much is their armor though? 11 inches, which is pretty good. 11 inches, pretty good. Nine inches, so hopefully we fight this, uh, it's probably left over, it's from 1909, it's a bit of an older one. And we ourselves only have 11 inch belt armor, but we have 17 inch guns. Um, we have improved director firing. I think our fire control is far superior to theirs. So we might want to try to keep them that range as long as possible. And uh, just try to score some hits from a distance. Alright, well I'll save this one here, and we'll pick this one up in the next episode. Thanks for watching.